Hi, and welcome back to the Go-Karts and Good Times YouTube channel. Today, I'm taking on my biggest challenge yet by building my own mini bike. Using some basic supplies, a rear tire from another mini bike, and an old snowblower engine, I hope to make a beast of a little mini bike. Using some plans I made up in Inventor, my friend and I are going to tape out a basic outline of the frame, get cutting, and start welding it together. After quite a bit of back and forth, we finally got some decent enough tape outlines which I think are symmetrical and square enough to start putting the pieces in place and cutting them to size. It's now the next day and last night we finished cutting out the pieces for the frame so now we're ready to get clamping and welding. With the bottom section of the frame all welded up, we're going to move right on ahead and get the top section welded up before making uprights and moving on with the fabrication process. With the top mostly welded up, we're going to move on to getting the funky angles right on the triangular section of the top. After getting more metal, I'm finally able to start working on these uprights, which I'm going to do using a rough wooden jig I made up. I know it's not going to be the most accurate, and I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I think it should help me get a good idea of the length and the angles I need to cut to get the two pieces attached. Now that I've got my rear diagonals cut out, I'm going to tech weld them together and check for accuracy before moving on. <laughs> Do 
Despite needing a little bit of tweaking, so far so good. Now I'm going to move on to making the front uprights and welding it all together for real. It's finally in one piece and everything is as it should be. Now I can do the final welds, flapper disc it down and be done with the basis of the frame. Well, I'm not done welding. This is where I have to leave you today. I'm out of welding wire, so in the meantime, I'll have to get more and finish the welds on the frame and flapper disc it down smooth. Front section here still needs to be welded and the welds elsewhere on the frame need to be cleaned. But in the meantime, I have a basic frame complete and I can rest assured knowing it's very strong. Thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join me next time where I plan to fit most of the main components and make it a rolling chassis.